All right, so I want to introduce you to my friend Doug. Uh, now, I've known Doug for maybe the last year, maybe a little less than that. Is that close? That's about right. And we just started talking about his story, and I thought it might benefit all of you to, to hear it too, and how the resurrection of Jesus just changed your life. I actually grew up in the church. I got out of college and uh, pursued the greed in my own heart. It's been an interesting last few years because I spent um, the, the beginning years of my, my marriage not as a Christian. A, with a wife who, uh, who, who was and is, and I um, really carried into my marriage all of these things, all these things, these uh, lustful, you know, passions of my youth. I continued to pursue those. It was, it was more, uh, it was more appealing to me than my my marriage, which was a, a little did I know of this like sanctifying element of you know, spending time with the Lord and a wife who wants nothing more than just time with Jesus and that sort of thing. I, I pursued the things of the world and so got wrapped up in an affair uh, as well. And then a close friend of mine actually sent me to, paid for me to go to a, a men's retreat. I spent um, basically three days there with 11 other men who, um, who taught me about confession and time with Jesus and began to this, this conviction for those sins began to come out. You'd heard about Jesus yeah. growing up, so what? It, what is it that you think made it at that retreat? What about the cross and resurrection pop to you that made you go, okay, this is actually what I've been looking for? In knowing, in knowing the name of Jesus and knowing about God, uh, I laid everything on the table for God, and just and in weeping, in a weeping moment of just confession to God and to these men, I, I said, Lord, I have nothing. I have nothing to give you. And he, and he extended grace to me. And I didn't even know what that was. I mean, I grew up in a world of like not really talking about grace and, I, and um, didn't really fit uh, in, in what I understood as Christianity. What began to be freedom again in my marriage that I'd never seen before was the start of something beautiful. And so now um, February um, 18th, uh, this last February was three years of a salvation story, um, not just for my own life, and my own walking with Jesus, but my marriage being redeemed fully and my relationship with my kids being redeemed. We have to go on our knees before God regularly, but man, there's freedom, there's freedom here.